This strange coding question has appeared in Amazon interviews in the past 6 months. So you are given two strings, S and T, return all of the starting indices of T's anagram inside S. Now what is an anagram? Two strings are anagrams if the characters are the same but the positions may or may not be the same. Let's say we're given these two strings, we can find the following anagrams of T inside S. After finding the anagrams of T, we can return the starting indices which is 0 and 6. Now let's go over the dot process. If two strings are anagrams, then the frequency of the characters must be the same. We can first iterate through string T to find the frequency of each letter. Then we can implement a two-pointer approach inside string S. One pointer will scan forward to look for characters. We will also keep track of the frequency of the letters. If the frequency of the letters inside the current substring matches the frequency of the letters inside T, we have found a valid anagram. And lastly, if there are too many characters inside the substring, we can string the substring by moving the left pointer and also decrement the frequency. Let's implement the function find anagrams, taking in the two strings S and T, find the frequency of the letters inside T, keep track of the frequency of the letters inside the current substring, break the resulting list and the left pointer, iterate through the indices, increment the frequency of the current letter. If the length of the substring is too long, shrink the substring by moving the left pointer and decrementing the frequency. If the frequencies are the same, add the starting index to results, return results. Now let's implement the function get frequency, taking the input string, keep track of the counts, iterate through the indices, increment the frequency of the current letter, return counts.